Today we're just going to look at what it means to make finer and finer distinctions on the number line. If we take this little gap between 2 and 3 on the number line and we divide it into 10 pieces, it'll look like this. If we think of what we've done here, we've taken a gap of 1, we've divided it into 10 pieces, so each of those little pieces will just be 1 tenth or 0 comma 1. This means that as we take each step up this number line, the steps we are taking are 0 comma 1 big. So the changes we'll see in our numbers are in the tenths place. So it'll look like this. With each jump up, just making a change in the tenths place only. Now, if we zoom in on a little portion of this number line, so let's just look at that little piece between 2.6 and 2.7, we get a picture as follows. Now again, we can take this piece between 2.6 and 2.7 and cut it into 10 pieces. It'll look like that. Now what we've done in this case is we've taken a gap of one tenth and we've cut it into 10 pieces. This will mean that we've got each piece being a tenth of a tenth, which is a hundredth in width. So each of these little jumps here is just a jump of a hundredth. This means if we label the numbers as we go up, the change we'll see is in the hundredth place. So it'll look like this. Each jump up just makes a change only in the hundredths place. And if we want to, we can zoom in closely on this little bit here. So let's have a look. There it is. And again, we can cut that into 10 pieces. Now, if we take hundredths, a hundredth and cut it into 10 pieces, we'll get to thousandths. And so, when we label that, we will see that as we go up, with each step we go up, the change we have happens only in the thousandths space. The tenths and the hundredths don't change at all. Okay, so let's look at some examples using this. If we wanted to place 2,63 on this number line, what we'd have to do is first identify what we're dealing with here. Here we've got a number line that goes from 2 to 3, and it's been cut into 10 pieces. So each of these pieces that we're dealing with here is a tenth. This means that as we take this walk up, we are just going to be moving up in tenths each time. So this will be 2 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 2 comma 3, 2 comma 4, 2 comma 5, 2 comma 6, 2 comma 7, 2 comma 8, 2 comma 9, and then 3. So the little piece that we're actually going to be interested in, because if you look at our number, it has a 6 in the tenth place. So we are interested in the little part of this number line between 2 comma 6 and 2 comma 7. So it's somewhere in this region that we're going to find our 2 comma 6 3. Now if we really were going to be very careful about it, we would go and carefully divide this one up into 10 pieces because that's where we're going to get the hundredths from. And then we would count 1, 2, 3 hundredths along. But I don't have a fine enough pencil to do it here right now, so I'm just going to take a kind of guess at it and say, look, there would be 10 pieces. It's going to be a little less than halfway along, so 2 comma 6, 3 will be about over there. All right, what if they ask us here what the value of that point is? Again, we just need to make sure we know what we're dealing with. We're going from 2 comma 6 to 2 comma 7. That's only a jump of a tenth, and we've subdivided it into 10 spaces. So what we're actually dealing with here is each little jump is a jump of a hundredth. A tenth divided into 10 spaces is going to give us jumps of 
a hundredths. So this, going from there to there, we'll just go up from having no hundredths, which was 2 comma 6, to having one hundredth over here, and then a further jump will take us to 2 comma 6, 2. What would this point over here be? Well, now that we've established we're going up in hundredths, it's easy. We just carry on, right? This will be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Up here we'll have 9 hundredths. Nothing else changes. You've got the 2, you've got the 6 in the tenths place. What's moved up is the hundredths place to 2, 6, 9. Using the pattern you see there, can you tell me what two, this point here would be? Well, if we just took note of how things worked, from 2, 6, 9, we progressed to 2, 7, or 2, 7, 0, oh, if we wanted to put in hundredths markers there. So the one just before 2, 6, 0 will be 2, 5, 9. And so we can carry on marking points just thinking a little bit carefully about what the what each of the places after the decimal comma means. If they asked us to mark off here, for example, 2 comma 6, 3, 5, well, we know that this thing here is 2 comma 6, 3. We know that this one here is 2 comma 6, 4. And we know that when we want 2 comma 6, 5, what we've got to do is take this little gap between 2 comma 6, 3 and 2 comma 6, 4, divide it into 10 pieces and count 5 along. Obviously, we'll get to a point right in the middle. 